So today we're going to talk about the different types of clubs and what you can expect there. So whether you're going as a patron or if you're going as somebody that would like to be an employee there, we're going to talk about the things that you need to know so that you can have the best experience possible and just know what you're getting into. So the first club is a nude club. In a nude club, sounds just like his name, you are completely nude, no clothes. Top comes off, bottom comes off. There might be some rules about when it happens. Um, you might not be able to be on the floor completely nude, but when you get up on stage or perhaps when you do private dances, you might be able to be nude. Also, there are sometimes rules about if alcohol can be served in those establishments. I know in New York, um, I don't think you can have uh, all nude and alcohol, but in some states it might be legal. Every state has different rules when it comes to all aspects of, of strip clubs. So you really, if you want to work somewhere, you need to kind of check what the laws in your state are or what's going on with your club. But a lot of the clubs enforce a no touching rule when it's all nude. But again, that kind of varies by state and, and club. Gentlemen's clubs are more of an upscale establishment. The girls usually wear gowns or dresses and maybe a G-string. They don't usually wear boots. They have a lot more rules, even for the girls. You might actually get somebody to walk you through the job and tell you what's expected. You might get a rule, but like you could get, it's run more of like a corporate type of situation. The bouncers are usually a little bit better about getting crazy customers out of there. And they should be protecting their dancers a little bit more since it's corporate run, but that's of course not always the case. But they also usually have really good food in those clubs. People go there for business meetings. It's definitely more of an upscale environment and they tend to be more picky with the body types. They tend to prefer slimmer girls. So if you're looking for thick bootylicious girls, a gentleman's club is probably not the spot for you. Topless clubs are probably the most well-known type of club. I think it's the one that most people think of. Uh, women can keep their bottoms on, but the tops come off. So in these clubs, Sometimes there are pasties, sometimes no pasties. Things really vary in this type of club. Depends on the type of club too. If it's a little hole in the wall spot, maybe a bigger establishment, uh, the clientele that comes in there. It, this is really like the biggest area to me of strip clubs because it's kind of like a smorgasbord of stuff that could go on. But uh, shoes styles can vary depending on the club. Clothing styles vary depending on the club too, but this is usually more of like a anything kind of go situation in terms of what you can wear on your body and on your feet. Hair might be a little bit more lenient in gentlemen's clubs, usually sleeker styles. You can probably be a little more creative in a topless club and alcohol is usually served. Also, the rules for touching vary depending on the club and the state. Another type of club is the lap dance club. I don't know if a lot of people know about this. Um, in this type of club, there's usually no pole. So <laughs> to me, that could be a little bit more intimidating because you really have to be up close and personal with customers. The girls there usually wear lingerie and they don't usually wear stripper shoes, maybe the sandals or regular like sexy, very high heel shoes, but not necessarily the clear lucite heels, definitely not the boots, um, and yeah, you kind of maybe sit around at a bar in lingerie and then maybe there's a room in the back. Different type of club. Not really a strip club to me since there's no pole, but yeah. Lastly, go-go clubs, which might be kind of my favorite. Go-go clubs, you keep your bikini on, so your top and your bottom stay on the whole night. You don't take it off. Sometimes there are a lot of rules about no touching. Um, some places might have lap dances, some others might not. Some of the places have rules about what you can wear on the bottom, so you might not be able to wear a G-string. You might have to wear something that covers a little bit more. There are different types of, of G-strings, so that might be a legality issue. Also, some places don't allow slingshots, or some places might require you to have something tied around your waist so that everything isn't exposed when you're walking around on the floor. All types of rules, again, it depends on the state and the club itself. But in this place, you don't get nude, and like I said, there might be rules about no touching. So if you are looking to go to one of these clubs as a patron, 
know the different types of clubs so you know what to expect. If you go into a go-go club expecting them to take off all their clothes and let you touch them, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> if you go to an all-nude club and maybe think that you're going to be able to drink something, you might not, depending on what state you're in. Um, various things to consider. If you're looking for employment, it's good to know these things so that you can choose where you're going to work at depending on what you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with all nude, it's not the place you want to apply for because they're not going to bend for you. So think about these things. Another thing, if you are looking for employment and you're not sure about what club to choose, one thing you should always do is call them up and ask what the requirements are. We'll talk about that at a later date. But definitely know that there are various types of clubs and there are a few others that are kind of something in between the ones we discussed today but <sighs> yeah it's a lot of stuff out there so just know what you're getting into and be safe i hope you learned something today if you have any other tips about the types of strip clubs that there are drop me a note um follow me on my socials look out for more episodes subscribe and i'll see you for the next one Meow.